Bienvenido a la sesión de meditación. Usa auriculares para esta lección al ser posible. Mi consejo es repetir esta lección todas las veces que puedas. Si no lo haces mientras meditas, lo puedes hacer en la cama antes de dormir, en el coche conduciendo al trabajo o cuando estás haciendo deporte. Cuantas más veces escuchas la grabación, mejor se te van a quedar estas frases y más progresarás con tu inglés. Póngase cómodo y cierra los ojos. Intenta mantener su conciencia únicamente en mi voz. Empezamos con el verbo haber. 1. Hay suficiente tiempo. There's enough time. There's enough time. 2. Hay trabajo que hacer. There's some work to do. There's some work to do. 3. Hay mucho tráfico hoy. There's a lot of traffic today. There's a lot of traffic today. 4. ¿Queda mucha comida? Is there much food left? Is there much food left? 5. Hay algunas personas aquí para verte. There are some people here to see you. There are some people here to see you. 6. Apenas hay coches en la carretera. There are hardly any cars on the road. There are hardly any cars on the road. 7. Había unas cosas bonitas en esa tienda. There were some nice things in that shop. There were some nice things in that shop. 8. Había mucha gente en la fiesta. There were a lot of people at the party. There were a lot of people at the party. 9. ¿Hubo algunos restaurantes buenos allí? Were there any good restaurants there? Were there any good restaurants there? 10. No quedaban habitaciones. There weren't any rooms left. There weren't any rooms left. 11. Hubo un gran parque para caminar. There was a huge park to walk in. There was a huge park to walk in. 12. Ha habido algunos cambios. There have been some changes. There have been some changes. 13. Puede que haya algún sitio aún abierto. There might be somewhere still open. There might be somewhere still open. 14. Debe haber un bolígrafo en el cajón. There should be a pen in the drawer. There should be a pen in the drawer. 15. Habrá más noticias luego. There'll be more news later. There'll be more news later. 16. Debe haber un error. There must be a mistake. There must be a mistake. 17. Va a haber muchas caras nuevas allí. There's going to be a lot of new faces there. There's going to be a lot of new faces there. 18. ¿Va a haber suficiente comida para todo el mundo? Is there going to be enough food for everyone? Is there going to be enough food for everyone? Ahora vamos a practicar los verbos modales. 1. 
Deberías haberte ido con él. You should have gone with him. You should have gone with him. 2. Puede que me vaya allí más tarde. I might go there later. I might go there later. 3. Ella sabe bailar muy bien. She can dance really well. She can dance really well. 4. Él corre más que yo. He can run faster than me. He can run faster than me. 5. ¿Te echo una mano con eso? Shall I give you a hand with that? Shall I give you a hand with that? 6. Salimos luego. Shall we go out later? Shall we go out later? 7. Deberías haber visto su cara. You should have seen his face. You should have seen his face. 8. Debes estar bromeando. You must be joking. You must be joking. 9. Él debió haber estado enfermo. He must have been ill. He must have been ill. 10. Podríamos hacer eso luego. We could do that later. We could do that later. 11. ¿Oyes ese ruido? Can you hear that noise? Can you hear that noise? 12. Puede que cambie de opinión. She might change her mind. She might change her mind. 13. No debes preocuparte por ello. You needn't worry about it. You needn't worry about it. 14. Tengo que llegar temprano. I've got to get there early. I've got to get there early. 15. ¿Tienes que trabajar mañana? Have you got to work tomorrow? Have you got to work tomorrow? 16. No encontraba mis llaves. I couldn't find my keys. I couldn't find my keys. Practicamos ahora el pasado. 1. Pensé que habría una reunión hoy. I thought there'd be a meeting today. I thought there'd be a meeting today. 2. Lo vi en la estación de autobuses. I saw him at the bus station. I saw him at the bus station. 3. Ella le dijo la noticia anoche. She told him the news last night. She told him the news last night. 4. ¿Desayunaste esta mañana? Did you have breakfast this morning? Did you have breakfast this morning? 5. ¿Dónde conseguiste ese gorro? Where did you get that hat? Where did you get that hat? 6. ¿Te gustó allí? Did you like it there? Did you like it there? 7. Vinieron a mi casa. They came to my house. They came to my house. 8. Cogí un resfriado la semana pasada. I caught a cold last week. I caught a cold last week. 9. Me comí toda la carne. I ate all the meat. I ate all the meat. 
10. ¿Quién trajo ese perro al trabajo? Who brought that dog to work? Who brought that dog to work? 11. No sé quién lo rompió. I don't know who broke it. I don't know who broke it. 12. Sabía que dirías eso. I knew you'd say that. I knew you'd say that. 13. Todo empezó hace un par de meses. It all began a couple of months ago. It all began a couple of months ago. 14. Lo compré en esa tienda nueva. I bought it in that new shop. I bought it in that new shop. 15. Ella eligió el azul. She chose the blue one. She chose the blue one. 16. Conducimos todo el camino. We drove all the way. We drove all the way. 17. Casi me caí. I nearly fell over. I nearly fell over. 18. Me lo encontré dormido en el sofá. I found him asleep on the sofa. I found him asleep on the sofa. 19. Se me olvidó decirle eso. I forgot to tell her that. I forgot to tell her that. 20. Fuimos allí dos veces la semana pasada. We went there twice last week. We went there twice last week. 21. ¿Quién te dio ese anillo? Who gave you that ring? Who gave you that ring? 22. Lo escuché en la radio. I heard it on the radio. I heard it on the radio. 23. Me hice daño en el gimnasio. I hurt myself in the gym. I hurt myself in the gym. 24. No paraba de hacerme preguntas. She kept asking me questions. She kept asking me questions. 25. Me marché antes de lo que esperaba. I left earlier than expected. I left earlier than expected. 26. Le presté mi coche. I lent him my car. I lent him my car. 27. Se me perdió cuando salí a correr. I lost it when I went jogging. I lost it when I went jogging. 28. Él hizo una fortuna el año pasado. He made a fortune last year. He made a fortune last year. 29. Quise hacerlo ayer. I meant to do it yesterday. I meant to do it yesterday. 30. No quise decir eso. I didn't mean to say that. I didn't mean to say that. 31. Lo conocí hace dos semanas. I met him two weeks ago. I met him two weeks ago. 32. Lo leí cuando era más joven. I read it when I was younger. I read it when I was younger. 33. Dijo que iba a ser una buena película. He said it was going to be a good film. He said it was going to be a good film. 34. ¿Quién te dijo eso? Who told you that? Who told you that? 35. Los vi en la fiesta juntos. I saw them together at the party. I saw them together at the party. 
36. Vendimos todo el primer día. We sold everything the first day. We sold everything the first day. 37. Le envié un correo, pero no respondió. I sent him an email, but he didn't reply. I sent him an email, but he didn't reply. 38. Hablé con ella ayer. I spoke to her yesterday. I spoke to her yesterday. 39. Paseo fin de semana en la playa. I spent the weekend at the beach. I spent the weekend at the beach. 40. Le llevé al veterinario. I took him to the vets. I took him to the vets. 41. Le enseñé todo lo que sabe. I taught him everything he knows. I taught him everything he knows. 42. Le dije la verdad. I told her the truth. I told her the truth. 43. Pensaba que no venías. I thought you weren't coming. I thought you weren't coming. 44. Me puse este traje en la última boda. I wore this suit to the last wedding. I wore this suit to the last wedding. 45. ¿Quién ganó la carrera? Who won the race? Who won the race? 46. Me apunté todo. I wrote everything down. I wrote everything down. Y para terminar, practicamos algunos verbos frasales. 1. Me enteré ayer. I found out yesterday. I found out yesterday. 2. ¿Cómo te libraste de ese resfriado tan rápidamente? How did you get rid of that cold so quickly? How did you get rid of that cold so quickly? 3. Deberías reducir el consumo de azúcar. You should cut down on sugar. You should cut down on sugar. 4. Estoy deseando verte de nuevo. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. 5. Deberías cuidar de tu cuerpo. You should look after your body. You should look after your body. 6. ¿Qué estás buscando? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? 7. Nos quedamos sin tiempo. We ran out of time. We ran out of time. 8. Dejé de comer azúcar hace mucho tiempo. I gave up eating sugar a long time ago. I gave up eating sugar a long time ago. 9. Empecé yoga recientemente. I took up yoga recently. I took up yoga recently. 10. Me sorprendió mucho su reacción. I was really taken aback by his reaction. I was really taken aback by his reaction. 11. Tengo que mantenerme con el resto de la clase. I've got to keep up with the rest of the class. I've got to keep up with the rest of the class. 12. Ya no puedo soportar su actitud más. I can't put up with his attitude anymore. I can't put up with his attitude anymore. 13. Se le ocurrió una idea muy buena. He came up with a really good idea. He came up with a really good idea. 14. 
regalé todos mis viejos juguetes. I gave away all my old toys. I gave away all my old toys. 15. Quítate los zapatos antes de entrar. Take your shoes off before coming in. Take your shoes off before coming in. 16. Odio hacer cola en las tiendas. I hate queuing up in shops. I hate queuing up in shops. 17. ¿Por qué no te preves ese vestido? Why don't you try that dress on? Why don't you try that dress on? 18. No te pares. Sigue conduciendo por esta carretera. Don't stop. Carry on driving along this road. Don't stop. Carry on driving along this road. 19. Aprendí un poco de griego mientras estaba en Atenas. I picked up a bit of Greek while I was in Athens. I picked up a bit of Greek while I was in Athens. 20. No te pedí ayuda. I didn't ask for your help. I didn't ask for your help. Ya hemos terminado las 100 frases. Gracias por haber estado ahí y nos veremos en el siguiente.